Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty Side. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. We're going to read this little article uh, really quick. It's uh, from Reddit, and it's called Am I the Asshole for Asking a Female Coworker If They Could Possibly, Possibly Leave Me Alone? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Uh, we're going to let, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a real good one. Good one. All right, so let's uh, start off, shall we? Long story short, I am not exactly comfortable around women. Not a nice way to start it off. Um, and it's very understandable in the world today that we live in. And I do what I can to minimize my interactions with females as much as I can. Sounds like a smart guy to me. Um, especially in a workplace, that's probably the smart thing to do. Uh, has nothing to do with capabilities or anything. I just get extr extremely uncomfortable. Well, I mean, I can't blame the guy. You know, it's uh, the post uh, me also kind of thing where you can get in trouble for anything almost. Really, nowadays, just the accusation can ruin a guy's life. So uh, I think he's smart for doing that. So. We have a new hire that has been trying to get to know people around the office better. Oh, see, here we go. <sighs> okay, and I happen to just excuse myself when she comes around. Yeah, a little social butterfly, huh? Thankfully, I work in the field a lot, so I'm often alone. That sounds very nice. So it does not happen often. But when I do come to the office, she keeps trying to, be to befriend or talk to me. Yeah, see, these, the, the women like this, this is why guys and gals should not work together. Women just want to be social butterflies and feels and like, let's get to know each other, let's be friends. Not do any actual fucking work. So, no. Someone like this should have been vetted, but that's, that's a different, that's a different story. I am a civil, I am civil and polite. I say hello and can handle idle chit chat even if it is visibly uncomfortable to me. So he's showing that he's uncomfortable. He doesn't like it, but people keep pushing him. See, I think that they should get in trouble for that. Why don't people get in trouble for that? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, she brought this up with my friend in the office and he explained the situation. And since then, it seems she has made it her mission to have me open up. See, women can't handle any kind of rejection, and they can't handle you telling them no. This is a perfect example. This little social butterfly needs to be friends with everybody. She can't help it. Even though he doesn't like it. It doesn't matter that he doesn't like it. She wants it her way. On Friday, I asked if she could leave me alone, please, and I have no intention to become her friend or open up. Okay. You obviously were talked to about this by his friend. He didn't like it, and you kept pushing. You couldn't stop. She lashed out and called me a misogynistic asshole. I thought it over the uh, I thought it over the weekend and it has been racking my brain. I bet. I bet, because just that accusation. If she was to go into the office and the HR and just give you give them that accusation of you, that's that is a pickle to be in. Am I really the asshole for not wanting to put myself in uncomfortable situations if I can avoid it? No. If I have to take her out in the field or help explain my drafts, I will push through. Sure, since it is work related. Absolutely, that's totally reasonable. I still get uncomfortable, but it is what it is. Yeah, Those are situations I cannot avoid, but general interactions, I do not think it is wrong of me to limit those when possible. It's not wrong. It's absolutely not wrong at all. This guy is not the asshole. The woman is the asshole because she kept pushing his boundaries. He literally told 
and it was he was uncomfortable people could see it she talked to his friend and he explained the situation but she kept pushing she is the asshole she doesn't understand boundaries and she should be fired on the other hand i also understand this is a me problem uh, i go to therapy but that only does so much right this is something rooted in trauma and i am not comfortable writing about it she should not be punished for my own issues yeah no she should she should because she knows your boundaries and she pushed them and she kept pushing them and then when you stood up for yourself when you put those boundaries in place and you didn't falter and you didn't uh, waver at all she got upset because the little bitch didn't get her way so am I the asshole no Ooh, we got an update here okay thanks for all the replies uh, was not expecting this many I'm going to talk to my boss about this since we have to head up to New York so we can talk about this on the drive to the airport okay um, I do not want to bring this up with HR because I do not want her to get reprimanded or written up over a first offense. I don't think this was a first offense. I will see what my boss has to say. Has to say. She is a talented drafter. I do not want to lose, lose her over this. Uh, I will provide an update after this week. I hope we can agree to let it go. One last edit. Um, I had no idea female and women could not be used interchangeably. What? English was never my strong suit. Okay, so this guy's foreign or something. As you can clearly see by my grammar and syntax usage. I'm a math and science guy. Okay, well, the math is not adding up here to <laughs> uh, how many times she's been told and how many times that you've felt uncomfortable and she could see that from what you say. Yeah, man, no, this is, this is ridiculous. This is dumb. Imagine a guy doing this to a girl, right? Imagine that in the office. He kept pushing boundaries, kept pushing, making her more and more uncomfortable. You know how fast that fucking guy would be gone? Wouldn't even be a question. There would be no reprimand. He would just be gone. Let's uh, read some comments here. You need therapy. You will have many female coworkers. You will have female bosses. You will never have female employees because you won't get promoted until you fix these issues you have you're limiting yourself and alienating your co-workers this will be noticed good luck that's a bunch of shit okay yeah you're gonna have female co-workers you're gonna have female bosses but boundaries are boundaries he admitted these in he's in therapy you need to respect that and people need to stop pushing this guy this is fucking stupid. Oh, here we go. He says, I am in therapy and overall I'm okay with where I'm at my job. Sadly, therapy is not some magic bullet that is capable of fixing all forms of trauma. I have been at this for years. Yeah. Treating women like they're a completely different species from you is not exactly trying very hard. <laughs> oh, God. Heart 2001. You are an idiot. Uh, and he says, trust me. I used to not be able to leave my house. I've made a lot of progress and I'm proud of it. Referring to women as females is what that person is talking about. It's clinical and dehumanizing, if not strictly medical environment. Look, that's what you wokists want. That's what you woke left people, you want to clinicalize everything. <sighs> these must be women writing these responses because he's just being smart. He's being smart and women can't deal with that. Women can't, they have to push boundaries, they have to have their own way. And unfortunately this guy is probably gonna go through a lot of shit and I'm not gonna read any more comments. Like, this is fucking dumb. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Be careful out there. Look at what's happening to this guy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.